Because we will be developing our application with PHP, which is a server technology, we need to make sure that our computer can understand and process PHP code. To do this, we need to install Apache Web Server, PHP Parser and MySQL database server uh, in which we will be storing all data on our computer. Rather than installing all these applications separately, we can do it in one go uh, using WAMP Server. To do this, go to www.wampserver.com and on the download section click on the download link. If you are a Mac user, you can, do, you can download a similar packet by going to www.mapmap.info and scrolling down on the home page, you'll see the download, download link to download the free version of this uh, packet. I have already downloaded uh, the WAMP server uh, and I have it on my desktop. So once you've downloaded uh, it to your computer, double click on it and on the first screen you get this information that if you, uh, uh, if you have already WAMP server version 1 installed on your computer, you have to uninstall it before you start this installation. Uh, once you've done it, cl click yes, then click next, accept the agreement and click the next button. Then the location. I wouldn't like to have my WAMP server with all my uh, sites installed on the C drive simply because if at any time my system crashes, I can lose all of the data. This is why I'm going to install this to my D partition. And click OK. Then next, I would like to create a quick launch icon. Next and install. Now you are asked to choose a web uh, browser which will be associated with all uh, applications which come with uh, this installation. Uh, I'm going to go to my C drive. Because I'm using 64-bit version of Windows XP, I've got this program files x86. Uh, uh, I need to navigate to Mozilla Firefox because Firefox is the browser I will be using for all these applications. Uh, select the firefox.exe uh, firefox and click open. Now the installation is finishing. Uh, on, the, on the next screen, uh, leave everything as default. Click next, finish and launch WAMP server. You can now see in the not notification area that the WAMP server icon has been uh, displayed. If you click on it and choose localhost, you'll see the server conf configuration and all of the tools plus the project if you have any projects already within the root folder of the server. Now, uh, within the tools you have a few links. First one is a PHP info which will give you all the information about the PHP version uh, installed on this computer. Uh, then you have two uh, tools to access MySQL database server. One of them is PHP MyAdmin, the other one is SQLite Manager. We will be using PHP MyAdmin. So if you click on this link, this will launch PHP MyAdmin where you can see all of your databases. In the next video, I'll show you how to secure your database with the username and password.